Hi math, today I'm going to show you how you can solve exponential equations using logarithms. It's not too bad. I'll show you all the steps. We'll do some examples. The good news is there are other ways you can solve these types of equations, so you may not necessarily have to do it this way, but I do want to show you how. Okay, so I've started with a pretty nice little example, 4 to the power x equals 12. Okay. And the steps for solving these are always the same. So I'm just going to dive into this example and show you the steps as we go. So the first thing we want to do is take the log of both sides. Okay, it's going to be log 4 to the power x equals log 12. Okay, we did the same thing to both sides, so they're still equal to each other. Okay, now check this out. We're going to apply the power rule. So I'll remind you what the power rule is. Log of, say, a to the power of b. This is one of those rules. Is equal to b times log a. So if you have an exponent inside a log, you can actually pull it out of the log and multiply. In this case, we have an exponent of x. So we can pull that out. We can say x times log 4. This is nice. Now check it out. We can isolate x really easily. We just have to divide both sides by log 4. Okay. So this is my answer in, in like just terms of logs. I can get it as a decimal do log 12 divided by log 4, but I think getting it to this step is the most important thing. So I'll just finish this up. Log 12 divided by log 4, we get 1.79. Done. Okay. Got another one ready to go. Take the log of both sides. Just like before, we have an exponent that goes in front of the log. This exponent is a little more complicated, but the rules are the same. It just goes in front of the log. Okay. I'm now going to distribute what's in this bracket. So it's x times log 5 plus 2 times log 5. We want to get x by itself. So I'm going to subtract this term. Okay, just one last thing to do to get x by itself. We just have to divide both sides by log 5. And again, getting this expression, I think, is the most important thing. So there's different ways you'd be able to get the decimal answer. We'll still write it down. So we'll do log 104 minus 2 log 5. Okay. I'm going to press enter here because if I just divide by log 5, uh, it wouldn't work. The order of operations would mess it up. So I get an answer of 0 0.89. Okay. So this one's more complicated just because we had, you know, an addition in the exponent. But the steps are real nice. The exponent just goes out in front. In this case, we have to distribute, subtract, divide. I got one more I want to do. Okay, so this one has exponents on both sides. But steps are the same. Okay, so I've taken the log of both sides, exponents out in front. I 
I have to distribute here because I've got a terms sub, uh, separated by a plus or minus sign. So this is going to become x times log 5 minus 2 times log 5. The right side I'm just going to leave alone for now. Okay, what I want to do is get both my terms with an x on one side of the equation. So um, I'll gather them on the left. And I'm going to move this 2 log 5 to the right. So to do that, I'm going to add 2 log 5 to both sides. Okay, and if I subtract this one from both sides, here's what we'll end up with. We get x log 5 minus 3x log 2 equals 2 log 5. Basically, I just swapped these two. I had to add, subtract, and that looks okay. All right. Now, here's the trickiest step. I got an x in both terms. Now, I, need, I know these terms look really complicated. Logs aren't nice. Nobody likes them. But they are just terms. Okay. So it's x times log 5 minus 3x times log 2. If you want to isolate x, what you're going to have to do is factor. So if I factor an x from both of these terms, it'll look like this. I just divide the x out of both of those. Remember, it's just the opposite of distributing. Okay. I hope you're all right with that. So I factored an x out of these two guys. And to get x by itself, now I just have to divide. I might ask you one question that's this complicated. Okay, I don't want anybody stressing out about this because it is not an important part of the course. And I have no illusions, no kind of idea that you'll have to do this once you're out of high school. I didn't want to make you do it. It's in the course, so don't get mad at me, please. So we'll get the decimal here. That's going to be 2 log 5 divided by, I'll do this all once log 5 minus 3 log 2, I get negative 6.85. All right, so again, you might see one like this. More likely, you'll see ones like this that are a little nicer. Okay, good luck out there.